Hey guys, Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. So, I am quite a few weeks behind in the car boot scene. It doesn't really matter. They're recorded, they just haven't been uploaded. But I'm going to just skip ahead a few and do the Sunday that's just gone when Lex was over. We went to two car boots. I'm going to do that one now, just because it's right here next to me and I can get it recorded and uploaded very quickly. So, it's all a bit higgity piggity at the moment, so I'm just going to grab stuff and say where it was from and how much it was, and then we just carry on with that. I haven't really looked up any prices, so I'm going to go through what I think I can sell it for. You know, some things surprise me, some things don't. I'm generally quite confident with most things uh, and comfortable with a price for most. So, for £2, I got a snail salt and pepper shaker, sort of novelty thing they might sell for about a tenner maybe, for £2 each, so £4 for the two some um cypress studio pottery they're handmade little pill boxes trinket boxes i'm gonna sell them together for about 12.99 i think 15 ish quid got some amazing seahorse salt and pepper shakers i love these to bits i don't know how you would use them they're both the same um which one's this one there we go um four holes on the top so they're both technically peppers and they both sit the same, so I think maybe it's two sets together. Like, is there supposed to be another seahorse going the other way? If you look, they're both the same. You know, do you know what I mean? So they twist. I'm sure you understand what I mean. I am sure, I think these are two peppers and there should be two salts somewhere. Obviously, the salts have vanished, so we've got two peppers. I will still sell them as a salt and pepper shaker, um, but they were two quid. That was very long-winded, sorry. Some vintage corn twisty things in the filler bag. Uh, let's grab this from filler bag for me. A signed studio pottery piece. It's just a brown bud vase. Filler bag. I got an Otter's House horse mug. Otter's House isn't a cheap brand. It's not a luxury brand. It's kind of like a just an in the middle touristy kind of brand, like garden centre kind of brand. I don't know the horses. I just thought I'd grab it. We'll see what happens. That was a uh, filler bag. So again, doesn't really cost me a lot if it's not worth anything. I got these. People on Carla's Live said they would have went on a wooden tray as sort of like a nibbles sort of hors d'oeuvres thing, like like that. Um, I'm just going to sell them as little like um, retro bread dishes or bone, bone dishes. I don't know. I'm sure I'll get something for them. I've got three kids wooden puzzles. They're all there and it's complete. Uh, I'll bundle these maybe seven to ten quid possibly. I got four of these uh, milk glass little containers pots they are marked and i read it out earlier and like uh dy dyna wear dino wear pry o r e y 24 so i need to look up that stamp on the bottom and see what it is it's not pyrex but they do look like pyrex but yeah they're just just a nice milk glass and they were filler bag i then got this which matches uh the chicken egg cup i got last week i don't know if you've seen that i don't think i've uploaded that one yet um, but i got a russian ussr um made egg cup and this is made by the same company and that's generally how i uh, recognize it it's got the same base same style of base with the little hole there um yep I looked this up. It goes for about 10 to 15-ish quid. I paid 50p, so that wasn't too bad. I grabbed this. Didn't really know what it was, but it's a studio pottery piece. It is marked with a star and something, a C. It is marked. You can't really see it. Um, Someone said it's for garlic, and it should have had a lid. Well, this doesn't have a lid, but I will try and sell it. It's just a little pot. I'm sure someone can use it for something. I have a... Um, Royal Worcester Villages Castle Coombe Sue Scullund Plate. That was filler bag. Uh, I got this also in filler bag. It's a um, hand made in Greece by Bones Pottery. It's just a terracotta and sort of paint black and white Greek looking uh, pot bud vase. In filler bag, there was this, which is a bit of pool pottery. It's the mushroom colour pool pottery toast rack. that go for about 10 quid. I've got a few things in newspaper, which I just need to unwrap. We've got some kitty cats. Some really delicate kitties. No marks on the bottom, but I'm sure I can find these. They're quite interesting and unique. That one's lying down. And 
that one sitting. No damage at all on them, which is really nice. And this week I actually took newspaper to the car boot because last time I actually broke a few things. Got this in filler bag, which is like hammered metal and then painted on the inside. Some say it's a sound plate or dish because it makes a nice ringing sound. I don't particularly know if it's like a decorative thing or you put something in it. It just makes a really interesting sound. I don't know. Let me see what it's worth. Still don't know what it is. I just need to do a bit more research. I paid two pounds for it. It's like a red wooden canister. The top reminds me of a bowls ball. Just the sort of circular, the rings and the white thick, uh, lid sort of thing here. Could be a, a, a tea caddy, a coffee caddy, I don't know, a tobacco pot. We're not too sure. But again, for two quid, I was happy to take the punt. The lid doesn't sit very good. I think it's handmade, to be honest. I don't know. But yeah, that's the bottom. Looks quite nice. I got this plate with the floral flowers. It says um, Hecho Amano. Algicia. Algica? Now that looks very Portugal-y to me, so I'm, I'm assuming it's Portugal. Obviously... It could be Spanish, it could be Portuguese. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure it's Portuguese because uh, the, just the paint style just looks like a lot of Portugal pottery I get. I have got... Ah, these are cute. Some of you will like these. Another salt and pepper. I'm a salt and pepper specialist now, apparently. One kitty cat. Two kitty cats. They hug, which I thought was really sweet. I'm sure a cat lover would love to buy them. I'll get about 10 or 12 for them, maybe. I paid uh, about 30 pence, I think. I got a midwinter jug. Uh, I think Lex got this for me, or found it for me. Um, yeah, midwinter jug. It'll go for about 10 quid. That was filler bag. Vinted egg slicer tomato slicer thingy uh about seven quid maybe in the bag tommy tippy brand new bottle probably nothing i don't know vintage dough kneader seven to ten quid more salt and peppers this time it's some little teeny tiny hedgehogs i'll get about 12 quid for them i think Some metal napkin rings, and they're marked inside with the artist or the designer. Um, Valerie Graham, uh, Graham, Graham, for him. Made in India. A vintage knife sharpener. A little teeny tiny donkey. And this is a, a toothpick holder because he's got little holes here for toothpicks. He's, he's got uh, no damage. I've got a little elephant. Um, I think he's either Russian or Czech, uh, Czechoslovakia pottery, but I will double check. He's a little... He's got, he's got a little hole in his, uh, his meal. He's alright. He was about 30p as well. And filler bag, I got this, which I believe is now Dartington glass. It's a beautiful little bud vase. Twisted glass. Really high quality. Uh, that'll go for about 10 to 15, I think. I just sold a Dartington vase for £14, I think it was. And to finish off, I grabbed these, which are on the first stall of the second car boot. £2 I paid. I've sold a lot of this stuff now. It does quite well. It's quite collected. Um, but I didn't see there was damage, or she didn't tell me there was damage. You can see there is a crack here. It's completely cracked and broken off. Yeah, again, you can't really see it on camera, but yeah, it's it's not the best. But then it's on the back, so you could have that on the front and you won't really tell. Matching pair, I paid £2. One alone I'll get about 8 quid for, so the pair I'll get about 15 quid. So that was a good buy anyway, you know, even though they're damaged. Um, I've sold loads and loads of this kind of stuff now. Um, it's a slowish seller. It doesn't sell amazingly fast, but you can generally get some good prices for it, okay? Um, but yeah, that was everything. So I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.